Howdy folks, welcome from not my corner office, but instead another sunny room in my house. Uh, the weather has definitely taken a turn for the chilly. Like it's not quite frost season yet, but we're getting there. Um, and I took the day off work today to kind of plan out spooky season um, here at my house because I dig it. And I think part of what I like about gardening is being very focused on seasons of life and how things are never the same for long. Uh, and so I want to celebrate spooky season while it's here. Anyway, today I thought I would show you some seed collecting that I want to do. Because like I said, it's not, we haven't had our frost yet, so all the plants are still up. But we definitely have some seeds to collect. And I had to make myself wait, even though I took the day off. I had to make myself wait because I could have gone and picked my seeds first thing in the morning. But then there'd be a bit more moisture on the seeds, which makes them prone to mold. And ain't nobody. Nobody wants mold on their seeds. That was my dramatic panning, sorry about that. Anyway, let's go out and take a look at the seeds we're gonna collect today. Harley is ready to go out. Lucky, you ready? All right, let's go. Let's go outside. Oh my gosh, off we go. Time to pick some seeds, right Lucky? Yeah. All right, so. Lucky for me, the seeds I want to collect today are all pretty much right in this area. Um, I want to pick some Colia seeds, some Celosia seeds back here, and some marigold seeds. Now there are some more marigolds back behind the garage, but it's pretty much going to be the same collection process either way, so don't think we have to go show you that. Um, first off though is Coleus. I've been collecting seeds I think like this is my third year doing it. My parents showed me how. Um, and it's great because coleus during its growing season, it's looking a little scraggly now, but during its growing season, um, it fills in with a ton of color and a ton of foliage interest. And growing it from seed means you can grow a ton of it everywhere um, for very little cost. But what are we looking for? Um, this, excuse me, Mr. B. What I'm looking for are flower stalks that have brown, these brown seed heads. You see how these are actually mostly brown. There's a few um, bright flowers still on the tip, but this is what we're looking for when it comes to collecting coleus seeds. Um, I'm also especially interested in um, some of these brighter foliages. Now, the thing I've noticed with coleus, and I think you can guess why this would be the case, um, when I collect seeds, I used to try to keep different plants separate, thinking that I would like grow specific varieties that I like the most. Well, it's uh, it's nature at its finest that these, fol these um, coleus are all being po cross-pollinated all the time. I mean, the pollinators love these plants, and I am so happy about that, but it does mean that you're getting some, uh, cross-pollination all the way through. So there's really no guarantee in my mind that you're going to get exactly the same the same um, leaves that you did last year. You might actually get something better. So what my goal is going to be is to collect just a bunch. Last year I separated them out by different varieties. This year I'm not going to bother because it just didn't pan out that way. So let's go ahead. All you have to do for coleus to collect the seed heads, I just snap off the stalks like that. Nothing super fancy. What we're gonna do eventually is put them in envelopes and let them fully dry out. But for right now, all I'm doing is going through and picking some that look sorta of brown. And I'll just do this for a couple days, weeks, whatever time I've got. And as long as they're still producing seeds, I'll still be out here collecting. And I'm probably going to err on the side of collecting things that look pretty in the hopes that I get them again. Um, but let's see, here's a good one. Come on. All right, and we're going to just set them down here for now, but I'll show you what I do with them when I take them inside. All right, next up. Huh, we're not taking you, dragon, snapdragon. It's finally looking gorgeous, but it took all season. I It just wasn't worth it. I've already said it. I've said my piece. All right, next up we've got Celosia. Now this is my first year collecting Celosia. So I'm not quite sure how this is gonna turn out as far as like, is it gonna be a success? But I'm just gonna grab, oh, 
and I shook it and I heard a bunch of them drop. So you might have to, I might have to come up here with the clippers and be a little more careful. But we won't need many to create more plants. I mean, this is, this is not a ton of plants represented here that make up this entire space of covered, cover, covered floral display. All right, and hopefully you can see, I don't know, like, let me get in the sun, that'll be better. Oh, as long as I don't block the sun. But down in here, there's these little black shiny seeds. And that's what I think will be viable for next year. So let's go ahead and put those guys down. There you go. And then finally, the easiest of the bunch are marigolds. Ooh, now these guys. Just, it's really easy to collect them. You just pop off the entire head. There's actually a whole bunch of seeds in here. Oh, and that one is still a little too wet. Um, so we'll just throw it back in there. I'm trying to find ones that are super dry. Again, we're trying to avoid... Alright, dogs were barking at the neighbor, so I thought I'd come back here and harvest some of the marigolds. Got some bright sunny ones. Okay, and I'm gonna look for seed heads that are super dried out. These are mostly, they're not completely browned out, but I'm gonna I'm gonna put them in envelopes and let them dry out some more. So I hopefully that will be plenty. Again, I'm not really trying to keep track this time around of oh what what varieties I'm picking because honestly if you really want the same one again and again and again you're probably better off probably better off just buying them from seed they're not that expensive oh look at this little baby tomato oh anyway I'm just picking them and I'll show you what one of the insides look like in a minute I just want to make sure I'm getting little bit of everybody. Now, already I've probably picked far more marigolds than I would ever need for next year. Seriously. Like, um, marigolds start from seed very easily. So this is already probably way more than I need, but you know, it's kind of fun. Let's just go around and feel, feel like you're truly foraging. All right. That's, that's going to be a great example of what these look like And here. Let me take you back. All right, so here's my little haul for today. Um, the coleus stalks, the celosia, and the marigolds. Um, all we're gonna do is get out some plain em envelopes and stick them in there for now to dry. So let's go do that, just to show you how simple this really is. All right, so all I've got here <laughs> are three security envelopes that in theory I would use to send mail, but I don't know who's sending mail anymore. I barely ever do. Anyway, <laughs> we can use them to collect seeds. And I was gonna bring stuff inside, the seeds and like seed heads inside to put them in the envelopes, but I noticed that the celosia is already dropping. Let's see if we can get, oh, they're so, they're just big enough. They're a little hard to pick up, uh, but there you go. Those are the little celosia seeds. They're already popping out. So I'm gonna put them in envelopes out here just so we don't lose any more seeds as we're going inside. All right, let me just do that. I don't have a fancy tripod today, so I'm gonna have to put you down to pick some plants up. All right, real quick, I wanted to give you a better sense of what the marigold seeds look like, for example. They're probably the only ones that are gonna show up very well on camera. Um, but they, the seed pods, when you pick them, they're gonna look kind of like like this, although maybe more brown along the edge. Um, but when you take, when you spread out the inside, you'll see all these individual little seeds. Like that's one there. And each one of these can make a whole nother marigold plant. So this is why I say like, I've collected all of this. This is gonna wake, this alone would make way more seeds than probably I'm gonna need. But marigolds never seem to be a problem to have too many of the garden. And here, as tiny as the celosia seeds were, this is how tiny the coleus seeds are. Super duper small. Um, the good thing is each one of these stalks makes a ton of them, so losing some on your table like I almost did, not a big deal. 
All right, so here we go. Celosia, just in an envelope, marigold seeds, and coleus. Um, we're not really done storing them down at this point. I'm just gonna let them, I'm gonna put them in a safe place in my kitchen where my dogs won't eat them and just let them dry out fully. Because once they're fully dried, I can just crumble everything down a little bit and seal up the envelopes. <laughs> Maybe label them. That would probably be a nice thing for me to do for myself. Oh, I got excited and I don't know if you can see in there, but there's already some seeds collecting at the bottom for the celosia just by sticking them in an envelope and jostling them around. Uh, anyway, we'll let this dry up so that there's not quite so much plant matter in the way. Also, again, moisture is bad news for your seeds. So you really want these guys to dry out before you consider them all, all ready to store for the winter. But yeah, that's it. It's really that simple. Um, the harder part is <laughs> remembering where you put them and planting them in the spring. Um, but that's all you need to do to collect some of your own seeds for next year. Save your money for the fancy plants, you know? All right, so that's collecting some seeds in the garden for celosia, coleus, and marigolds. Um, obviously, well, it's obvious to me. Maybe it's not obvious to you, but there are other seeds in your garden that you could probably collect depending on what you got out there. Um, but those are just the three that I prioritize picking every year because it's way cheaper to grow them from seed and I'm not too picky about the colors that I get. That's, I think, a big deciding factor for me um, is number one, do I really want to get a very specific um, colorway in my garden next year? Like my petunias, I could harvest the seeds. I don't because every year, um, like that um, accessory purse, that pop of color, I like to choose something a little different every time. So I don't worry because I'm going to just buy what I want the next season when I know what I want the next season. Um, but with coleus, I know I always like them no matter what they show up as. It's always a delightful surprise. Same with marigolds. And celosia is going to be the experiment this year because I have never started them from seeds that I've collected myself. We shall see. But anyway, if you want to give it a try with your own seeds, let me know. Um, let me know what has worked for you in the past that isn't on that little short list of mine because uh, I... I'm always trying to build my knowledge and hopefully by sharing info with you, you can share info with me. It's a beautiful world like that. Anyway, I'm going to keep harvesting some seeds every once in a while um, when it's dry out because you don't have to do it once and never, never think of it again. Um, and I'll do a video when I actually kind of break them down into their envelopes so it's a little easier to see how they store up. And then of course, when springtime comes around, I'll show you how I get those seeds back started again and we can reflect back on when it was warm and sunny and we were harvesting our seeds in the middle of winter, we'll be growing them again. So anyway, as always, if you enjoy this content, please like and subscribe um, to my channel so I can keep you up to date. And let's see how far this season takes us. It's still pretty toasty out, but I have seen some uh, 30 degrees Fahrenheit range temps at night. So we're getting close to frost. Just don't know when it's going to jump up at us. All right. Talk to y'all later. Bye.